Once you break a man. Once you break a man, there's glass on the floor. Cracked, colorful pieces of perfect memory scratch symphonies of your biggest arguments into eighth beats a minute. Once you break a man, you have blood under your nails. You can wash the blood off and hide the pieces, but you can still feel every pet name seeping through the nail. No matter how many band-aids you buy through glove-covered destructive fingers, there's still glass in the trash and blood on your hands. You've run through almost every self-help book telling you to smash your emotions until you're back in control, but the back of the book doesn't have the answers on what to do next. What do you do when he ain't the one and there ain't no reason to leave? You break that man. There's never a step two to your mess. You can't pick apart what piece of your relationship was the mess. So here's what you do. You're going to make sure that you screw up good. You're going to yell, lie, and cheat. You're going to be selfish. You're a mouthless victim with the victimizer's hands, face, heart, and mind. Nobody gives eulogies for muses, but will attend your wake behind your back. Break men fearlessly. If you've never dreamed of rocks, don't cut yourself for the good of your self-esteem. You're not glass, so don't settle for any less. Shatter your victim. Hide his pieces. Young hearts grow so easy, corrupted so sweetly. Whose idea was it to make fragile men so... shiny? Last time something like that happened, Sleeping Beauty pricked her finger from temptation. But you're not Sleeping Beauty. You're Maleficent. You're every Disney villain with a heart of gold and hands that cause explosions. You have to wait for someone to hold your mess. But you never wanted to be in charge of glass.